All right, guys. So in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing off the roof area and the uh, the ceiling down below. And uh, I'm really sorry for taking so much time to make you the next video. Uh, I had my reasons, but hopefully after the end of this week, I can spam you guys with more tutorials on the Archvis. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, with that said, let's get started. So we're going to finish off the roof first, which is this area you're seeing here. So I'm going to take this and let's go into edit mode. Well, pretty much all that we can do is to just copy the one down below and move it on top. So I'm just going to go in here. Okay, I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to move my mouse on one of these planks here or slates. And I'm going to press L to copy it or to select it. And I'm going to press shift and D and move it up in a Z axis. Once we do that, we're going to press P and separate the selection. Now let's get out of edit mode, take this one, get to the front view, and I'm going to go into wireframe, and I'm going to press G, and then X, move this forward, hopefully I'm seeing this right, yep. So let's just change the pivoting point, or I'm going to edit mode and move this, so we have the, the gizmo close to it. So I'm going to take this and move it up a bit more. I think it's around this area. Uh, what I remember is it's about two planks two planks after the first plank over here so I'm gonna move this up until we have the two uh, the, I mean a single plank after the first one It's two planks after the first one I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say but we have a uh, multiple planks here so <clears throat> the planks all the way to the top we're gonna to skip one plank and then move this right over here next to it down here like just skip the first one and move it move the bottom close to the next one like this and make sure it's about two planks almost three planks high so I'm gonna take this the top one right here I'm going to take the top one right here. I'm going to move it down a bit to about here. Just like that. And I'm going to take the whole thing. Let's try to mimic the front uh, space. I think it's a lot. If you take a look here. So I'm going to move it in the X axis. Slightly beyond this pillar we have over here. So I'm going to move it here. First let me get to side view. Or is it? Yeah, side view. So I can see this much better. Let me go into wireframe. So I'm going to move it slightly beyond that pillar. So that's about here. I think that's pretty good. All right, not bad. And now let me just let me just get to front view. Take this side. I want to move it in the x-axis, slightly beyond that uh, that pillar right there. So I think that is pretty good. If I'm not wrong. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make this vertex here the active element. I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate. Right click to keep it in place. And make sure you have your pivot point set to active element. And now I'm going to press R and then Z and type in 90, negative 90. I want to move to the front view and place a small amount of gap between it and that piece over there. Now, all that we're going to do is to just extrude this in the y axis all the way back to there. I think that is pretty good. All right, not bad. Let me just move it back a bit, I think. Because if you take a look here, you can see we have a bit of a gap there, too. I think that's a good enough amount of gap. But I'm going to move it to about the center, like that. And now, I'm going to make this one the active element, this one right here. Now I'm going to press Shift and D, right click to keep it in place, and I'm going to press R and then Z and type in 90. Okay, so this time it rotated accurately. And I'm going to press E and then X, extrude this all the way to this side. I don't know if that's gap, that gap is enough, but I think it is. Comparing it, I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to move this in the X axis. Let me make sure the gap we have on top is also enough. I'm going to go into wireframe. So I think I'm going to leave it around here. This should be good. I don't know if it's too much. It might be too much. Let me just move it in a bit to about there. That should be good. All right. So now all that I want to do now is to make sure that this is the active element. I'm going to press Shift and D. Right click to keep it in place. I'm going to press R and then Z and type in negative 90. And then hit enter. And now just like we did with the first, I mean, yeah, the first one, I'm going to leave a bit of a gap in between it. I'm going to press E and then Y and extrude it all the way back f until it intersects with that plank over there just a little bit, like that. Alright, now I'm going to do the final one, which is this piece over here. You can see we have it going straight back, but I don't think the gap is enough, so let me just get to the top view. Make sure we get the gap right. So this is the end of it, so we have to increase the gap here a bit. So I'm going to pull it back to about here. I think that should be good. Maybe a bit back, like that. Should be good. Yeah. And I'm going to make this the active element. Oh, no. The one next to it instead. I'm going to press Shift and D. Right click to keep it in place. R and then Z. Type in 90. And I'm going to give it that little gap we gave the others. 
and then I'm going to extrude it in the Y axis all the way back until it intersects with it just slightly like that. All right, so with that, then we're going to move on to the next thing, which is creating the, the lip that we have all around it. And for that, I'm going to duplicate this one so we have it pretty much the same top and bottom. So I'm going to go into edit mode and let's just copy. Let me see. I'm just going to copy. Let me take all of this edge over here. Okay. So just take that edge, take the one below it and the one below it. So select it all around. And I want to take the edge over here as well. So just right click or pretty much all that we can do is to just left click and drag across this to select it all. Just like that. I feel like it selected something on the inside as well. So it would be a, a good idea to go with the edge select like we were doing before. So just all that you have to do is just make sure you select it. Select all of them. Make sure you have all of them selected. This is quite difficult from all these obstacles obscuring my view. Alright. And I'm going to take these ones as well. So all of that. All of this. And all of this. I think that one's selected all the way through. That's not what I wanted. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. And then this one, and then that one. All right, so now all I wanna do is to just press Shift and D and move this in the Z axis. That one's selected all the way to the end, so we can just go into wireframe, deselect this one and press X and delete the vertices. All right, so now we can then select all of this because we have to separate it. Select all of that, come on and press P and separate the selection. All right, good. So now I'm gonna take this, go over to the top view, go into wireframe, I mean, yeah, wireframe. Take everything, press G and then X. Let's move this here. So it's about the same distance as the one below. So I'm just gonna pull it back. I think the plank is right here. So I think this is where we wanna move it. Just a slight bit, not too much. About the same gap between each of them, just like that. All right, so with that done, I'm just gonna pull this down. Why do I feel like the middle one is not in there? Yeah, I think we failed to select the middle one. I don't know how that happened. Maybe you had it selected, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna X, I mean E and then Z, extrude us up in the Z axis, all the way to about there. And what I'm gonna do now is to just go into top view, select all the one at the back and delete the vertices. And I'm gonna take everything and extrude it in the Y axis. All right, if you have the same uh, problem, you can just do what I just did to fix it. And I'm going to take everything, press G and Z, and pull it down until it intersects. Well, not intersect, just a tiny bit of gap between the two of them, right here. So G and then Z, pull it down. So we have just a tiny bit of gap. I think it's intersecting. Let me just move it down a bit more. And there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do now is to just take, let me just go to the top view, go to wireframe. And I'm going to take all of this. I think the back is not quite well aligned. So let me just take all of them. Press S and then Y and type in zero. And I think I'm going to delete the faces on the back. So faces. All right. Is there faces here too? I think, yeah, we have faces here too. Maybe we can keep that one. Yeah, let's keep that one. All right. Now I'm going to take all of these vertices, move it in the X axis all the way to about there. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so a bit more back. Let me just zoom into that area. And now you know what we have to do. We have to uh, move the lips out a bit for each of them. So we're going to leave the first one. Let's take the next face right here and this one. I want to pull it in the x-axis until it's about the same amount on this side. I see something going on here. What do you think that is? Let me take a look. What happens if I dissolve that edge? Okay, there's something definitely going on here. Okay, maybe I should just, I'm not sure. You know, if we don't fix it, it might actually affect us while, we, while we're unwrapping this piece over here. So let me just, let me see. Okay, let me hide the one on top, all right? And I'm gonna take this and that. Is that vertex right there? Yeah, and I wanna press Alt and M and choose Alt and M. Well, okay. Why did my okay? Let me just select that vertex and delete the vertices. I don't know where my merge actually went. I don't know. Maybe it's because I updated to 2.83. I think I lost that feature. Alt and M. I'm not sure, but I'll try to find out where it went. 
so let's move on with this so i'm going to take the face now this face and finally we're going to move that also out just a bit all right so that's good now uh let me see i think we have to do the same thing over here so let me just go into edit mode and let's see how we're going to do this maybe we can just take let me just press ctrl and r through here okay for each of them ctrl and r in between each of them I'm going to take this one, I'm going to press G twice and move this all the way to this side right here. Take the next one as well, press G twice, move that all the way here. And I'm going to take the final one, press G twice and move that all the way there, like that. Alright, so now I'm going to take this faces here, one, two, and three, and I'm going to extrude it in the x-axis, just like that, until we have it moved to the other end. I'm just going to pull it in a bit like that. And remember, that will create faces on the back. So let's get rid of those faces. So one, the first one, the middle one, and the last one. So I'm just going to press X and delete those faces. All right, nice. Okay, so now all that we have to do now is to take, let me see. Yeah, we're just going to have to take the vertices and just go over to the top view. Or we can just select them by zooming in in this area. And I'm going to take the first vertex, take the second one, and the final one. Okay, so all of those, and we're just going to move them in the x-axis, all the way to the back, like that. So I'm going to move it to intersect with it very nicely, and maybe move it to the other side as well, until it gets to about this point. Alright, nice. Does it? Yeah, let's just have it pretty close to this area as well. I think that should be good yeah there we go so it's gonna come out a bit on this side but we're pretty good it's not gonna cause any issues all right so now the final thing we're gonna do now is to do the back area as well right now it's not visible but i know how it looks like so this lip doesn't actually go to the back the back is just a plain edge over here so that's what we're gonna do right now with this piece over here so i'm gonna go into edit mode and i'm gonna take this edge over here press shift and nd move it in the y axis and i'm gonna move it in the x axis like this so that one is actually very close to that edge over here so let me just zoom in here and i'm gonna pull it back until it's the same uh alignment with the one below and i'm gonna pull it in the z axis but we're gonna have it intersect just a bit i want to go into wireframe take that vertices and then pull it back to touch the very wood we have in front of it like that and I'm going to do the same thing over here, pull it back to there. Let me just zoom into that area, make sure it's accurate. And I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here and move it very close. It doesn't have to be very close because it's not going to be visible. I mean, the, 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 the length or the space there can be any amount you want. It's not going to be visible. It's not going to contribute to any special thing. So I want to shoot that side all the way forward. I'm going to move this also over here. I'm going to press Ctrl and R and bring that one close also to about there. And finally, I'm going to take that face. Or not finally. I think we have one more in front. Oh yeah, finally. I'm going to extrude this in the Y axis until it hit that plank in the front. That wall over there. So just make sure it intersects with it very nicely. Alright. So now all that I want to do is to take the top vertices that is the edges on the top, all of them. We have it all selected. Let me see. So I want to take all of them. I don't think it's all selected. All right, we have to select all of them. Just go around and select them all. Yeah. So once you've done that, what you want to do is to get out of edit mode, take the, uh, the extra piece on top and go into edit mode. And then uh, we don't want to select this one. Let me just go into wireframe and make sure we deselect all of that one. And we're just going to select the the uppermost vertex on this one. That is maybe this or any of the ones that is on the top. And we're going to make sure we have the pivot point set to active element. I want to press S and Z and type in zero just so it's the same alignment with it. All right. Once you've done that, all that we're going to do now is to just take this go into edit mode and I want to take the outermost vertices the final one on this side I want to press shift and D I'm just gonna press F 
So all that I'm going to do now is to just take this one right here. That is the two edges. Uh, hold up. Let me see. So let me just deselect the ones on the back. So we have only the ones on the front selected. And I'm going to move it in the x-axis just to cover up that back. I mean the y-axis. So just to cover up that gap we have over there. I feel like one of the edges is not aligned. Let me see. S and Y. Type in 0. Yeah, that was the one. <clears throat> I want to press G and N Y and move it back until it's intersecting like that. And then we'll get... Alright, very nice. So you can see that does it for the roof. Now, in the next video, I wish I could continue in this video, but I'm going to have to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to be doing the ceiling the ceiling for both roofs and hopefully I can spam you guys with more videos by the end of this week so alright guys so my friend interrupted me uh, so uh, as I was saying we are going to be doing the roof in the, I mean the ceilings in the next video but I just noticed one thing uh, this area right here okay uh, I think we pulled it out too much so let me just go into edit mode and let me just take all of that end over there this is going to pull it in a bit, so let's move it in the y-axis, or the x-axis. Yeah, like that. Let me take a look. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Alright, so just like that, and we are good to go. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be doing the ceiling and uh, hopefully the cutout on this wall over here. There are also planks on this side, so we're going to be doing that, and uh, also the ceiling. So I'll end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and as I was saying, Hopefully after the end of this week, I can spam you guys with more ArchVase tutorial videos. And yeah, hopefully we can finish this course uh, quickly so I can begin my next course. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.